Well, a change of pace now because it's time for Tuesday's Pulse and we're talking stupid comments by politicians, teaching babies maths and magic jocks for blokes. And here with us this afternoon, Lisa Fernandez and Jenny Seaton from Curtin FM. Hi, Amy. Welcome, ladies. Hi, Amy. Hi, Amy. We'll talk about men's underwear in a minute, but first... Can't wait. <laughs> Michael Suka, he's a federal minister and he's also the assistant minister to the treasurer. Now, he believes the first step to home ownership is for young people to get a high-paying job. Jenny, obviously, it isn't as easy as it sounds, is it? Seriously. Mm. Look, that's the ideal. What a stupid statement. Why do they do this? Lisa and I were just talking about this. The, the statements that people come out with, you know, politicians come out with, that are just ridiculous. That's why, you're right, they're voting for people like Trump and Pauline Hanson because they come across as straight shooters. Everyone wants a high-paid, a paying job when they first get out in the workforce to get a home. But it's not possible. I mean, we used to have two and three jobs, mm. weren't we, when we were first, yeah. mind Could... you, a lot earlier than you. No, no, I'm not far two... behind you, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I used to do. You never got a high paying no. job first out there. So two or three jobs, for God's sake, stop saying stupid things. That's not But look, you know, Treasurer Joe agree. Hockey back in two thousand and five, he actually echoed a similar statement and he actually said also his advice was to buy a house, get a good job that pays good money. A, a you know, is it, as he, obviously is, is Michael Suka being accused of being out of touch or is it just that houses are just too expensive. Both. No, Both. out of touch, <laughs> completely out of touch. Look, uh, my cousin's just graduated from law school. Well done. She spent, obviously, a lot of money getting this degree. She's starting on a very low salary. She might be a lawyer, but, you know, we all know everyone starts on a low salary, but they're the people that need the most help. Yeah, They're the people that need a hand up, the ones that have been studying for so long. And also your hard working, you know, uh, people that are just going to work every day, nine to five, coming home, saving, got the kids, you know, single mums. Yeah. They need a leg up to get into their first home. And I think that that's the people we should be talking to. That's the people the politicians should be listening to, targeting. And you're out of touch, Malcolm. You are. I guess Sorry, the... mate. <laughs> well, I guess the voters will decide come election time. Uh, most of us have heard of Mathletic. As the name suggests, it's about teaching kids maths, but now there's an app to teach maths to babies as young as six months old. Now, Lisa, you have an almost mm -hmm. four-month-old. Mm -hmm. Are you already downloading this app? Oh, look, <laughs> look he, what is, he's, he's on the app right now, isn't he? He's sitting in front of the iPad because that's where I left him. Right, hey, I don't even think he can sit up. Uh, is this, has he got I've head got, control? I've got cushions. <laughs> okay. He's propped up and he is currently doing mathletics. <laughs> Seri like, seriously, I don't know what six-month-old baby is going to be sitting in front of an iPad doing mathletics. Are they sitting Why up? do you want... No, propped up with cushions. <laughs> Why do you want them to be doing mathletics at that age anyway? I think it's just too young. Like, And also, boys develop... I will say boys do develop a little bit slower than girls. So, you know, look, he, he's going to have no idea. He's going to look at his iPad going, what? What's happening? Why, though? Why do you want to start kids so young? Well, they're giving iPads to babies sitting in high chairs. Yeah, not to exactly. Them. Now, no, Jenny, yeah. if you're giving an iPad, obviously you want yeah. them to do something that mm. has some educational benefit at least. Well, I had a look on the link that you yes. sent me, Lisa, yes. and it's really a little bit of fun. It's triangles, <laughs> squares and circles, yeah. and you can actually, as a parent, put your voice on and say, yeah. darling, this is a circle, <laughs> find the circle. And it does, well, it gives them something to do, and they're learning. Imagine they just they do it do in real budget. life. You want to hold up a piece of paper and go, darling. They could do you know, the like, budget for us. Yeah, they could. Down the Fair track. enough. No, I'm yeah. all for it. I reckon technology, <laughs> I hate technology the way it's going, but this is, I think, the way of the future. It is, probably. Yeah. Look, finally, <laughs> something for the me men in your, your life. Let's get on to this one because I know you want to talk about it yeah. now. A present that promises the gift of good health. These jocks claim Whoa. to block up to 99% of radiation from a mobile phone. Now, Lisa, in addition to this, there's radiation blocking, but this also this fabric also stops bacteria from multiplying. So, this is probably the perfect underwear. It is. <laughs> It is the perfect underwear. It keeps you clean. All I want is, you know, really. <laughs> Too much information. It's so much information. Is that a mobile phone blokes. in your pocket the, or are you I just happy to see me? <laughs> I don't know. But it's bacteria got, free. But I'm going to throw this to you because you were excited about these oh, underpants, Jenny. I know you I were. haven't seen any They for cost ages. about, look, Jenny, just so you know, they cost about $60. So I know. Do you think that's a bit pricey Big for investment. a pair of briefs? Big investment. I can understand that. But what it does, it can affect their fertility mm -hmm. possibilities if they don't stop this radiation so I, I can see the point of it <laughs> yeah but didn't they do a cut 
club not club funding, yes. what do you call it? Crowd funding. Crowd funding, yes. They, <laughs> they did, did crowd do crowd funding. funding. Very good. And so there are a whole group of guys, they got together, they brainstormed this idea and now they've come up with a $60 underpants. Yes. So they're going to be a whole lot richer than us. Back to okay. Well, ladies, look, maybe Bacteria we need to free. come up with our own sort of pair of briefs and bras that sort of protect yeah. us as well because, you know, people are holding their mobile phones pretty close to their body anyway. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, look, that's all like we've that. got time for. Lisa Fernandez, Perfect. Jenny Seaton. I'll see you next week. Thank you very much. <laughs>